It really is. And the big time that we want you to be concerned with is going to be pretty much throughout late morning and into the evening hours for tomorrow. Today, it's just cloudy skies, but we are keeping an eye on what's to come. That system farther to the south, we've been showing you that, bringing all of that rainfall to some of our neighbors down there. Up to the northwest, plenty of snow. These are basically going to meet together. That snow system is going to ride on the tails of this one, getting some extra energy and start to blanket some of those areas farther down to the south and to the east. But this system is changing and continuing continues to change. We've already had to update the numbers a couple times this morning. 32 degrees right now in Des Moines, feeling a little bit cooler than that as we continue to work with some of that northeasterly wind from that snow system I was showing you. Those winds are going to play a big factor in the next couple of days. We'll be breezy for most of today, so your 40s may feel more like 30s, but they play an even bigger role as we head into Tuesday and then especially Wednesday after some of that snow has fallen. It starts to drift around a little bit, though I think we're looking at more of a slushy system, to be quite frank with you. As we head through the rest of today, notice those wind speeds starting to pick up. These are your gusts, so the peak winds that you could see at any given time. Continuing to watch as that rain just keeps moving around us, but mostly down to the south and to the east. By tonight, we start to see some of those first signs of that rain transitioning to snow and moving on up toward parts of southeast central Iowa. This is a look at your Tuesday morning. Notice some of the changes since we were talking about this over the last couple hours, how it's no longer really including too much of central Iowa. It continues to push out farther to the east back building a bit. It's going to be a toss up for Polk County. Just how much we're going to see at best, maybe an inch, but I wouldn't be surprised if we keep under that continuing to watch as it slowly moves out through the south and the east. By the time you're waking up Wednesday morning, no longer working with any snowfall, but certainly plenty on the ground that's going to make roads a little bit difficult. Again, I have tweaked with these numbers quite a bit this morning. I think we'll see around two inches at best for some areas of central Iowa, but many of you are going to be left out of this altogether. Two to three inches looking more likely as we head farther down to the south and the east. Those higher amounts definitely more so out toward Davenport, uh, Davenport rather, and even farther to the east where we could see some of those higher pockets getting closer to eight inches. Again, just follow that outline of the winter storm watch. This also has been realigned because of some of those changes with potential snowfall totals, but the timing the same Monday night through Wednesday morning. That's when the roads are going to be most likely a little bit difficult just depending on where you have to go. Today though, your smooth sailing, cloudy skies, just a little bit breezy out there. Overnight, we'll continue to watch as this system moves on in from the southeast. That winter storm watch, likely then a warning, will be going into effect as we head into the later evening hours. For your Wednesday, windy, and that's going to blow around whatever fell. Thursday and Friday, looking okay. Might have another round of moisture coming our way for the end of the work week. This weekend, a little bit warmer. Monday, looks like another